Hi guys, I'm going to do an experiment. I'm going to take two standard little DC motors. Um, these are these little toy uh, type motors. And I'm going to put them on a block of wood here. And I'm going to power one motor with a battery and see if we can get power out of the second motor and see if we can do work with that second motor and maybe even loop some of the power from the second motor back to the first motor. It's a common perpetual motion type experiment that you see on YouTube all the time. They say you can power one motor with you can use a battery to drive one motor which then powers another motor which can power the first motor and a load. So I want to do this and show you that before I start there's nothing here but a motor soldered to a circuit board with a little um, plug, power plug. I bought these years ago uh, actually in Germany. Um, see it's got here the word uh, Blau and Schwartz, blue and black. Schwartz for black. So um, I bought these in Germany probably Conrad Electronics back in the day long long ago. Anyway I'm going to hook these up to the board for a uh, nice appearance and uh, do some experiments. Hi guys. Okay, I simply have a one motor here connected to a couple of batteries of AA batteries and I have a voltmeter connected to the other motor and what we're going to do is apply power and the first motor is going to spin. Okay, I'm going to just connect it for a minute. My batteries are not very good. All right, and it spins. I'm going to connect a battery. And this motor is now spinning this motor. And we have 0.65 volts coming out. So, we're using 3 volts to power a motor, which drives a generator in this case, to get half a, just over half a volt output. So we're losing almost 1.5 volts in the system. Now, can you run this motor with the output from this motor? I don't think so. All right, we'll do another experiment and see what happens. Okay, guys. Now here we have the free energy generator that you see on YouTube all the time. We have here two small DC motors, and they're the same size. Now later I'll try another experiment with a different size motor being run by a small motor. And these are the same size motor, and often I've seen this uh, experiment run with two of the same size motor, which I know is going to fail. I have the negative connected to the negative of each motor, and a positive to the positive of each motor. And then to start the system up, I have a battery pack right here. Now in theory if I connect the batteries it'll start this motor running which will produce power coming out of this motor which then should run this motor. But without any external control circuitry it's impossible because once you take off the power they're both going to stop. Also without a diode blocking this one um, from being run by the, the run battery when you apply power, they're both going to be running as a motor. So let's see what happens when we apply power. All right. Both motors are spinning up. Sorry, I have a bad connection here. They're running. Now, I let go, take off the connection, and it stops. Connection, running. Disconnect, stops. So this cannot self run in this configuration. So the YouTube videos where you've seen one motor powering another and them running endlessly is impossible in this configuration. But this shows one thing, spinning any normal DC motor by any means, in this case another motor spinning it, will produce electricity. All right. Now you have to spin a DC motor faster than its rated speed to get voltage equivalent to its rated voltage if that makes sense so in this case this motor is spinning this motor at the same speed that it was rated at 
Therefore, we're not going to get as much voltage out of this one as we're putting into this one. Okay? Which is shown here on the voltmeter, 0.65 volts out. There you go, guys. Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics.